Hey Daryl, as a service, I attended the Digital Workplace Conference recently and going to conferences, I don't really want to be traveling with a big headset like this. Just so that I might, on the off chance, have to attend an online meeting from the conference. The idea is you attend the conference, right? Um, now, I love this headset, it's great, but look, it is big and bulky and uh, doesn't really fit inside a small bag to take to conference. And so I left this behind. I know I've got other options, but I chose to just go to the conference and, and enjoy that and attend the sessions. And I did get looped into a meeting that I, I needed to attend. Um, that's okay. The project manager was great, gave me a lot of uh, previous warning, but I realized I didn't have anything to, to listen in closely. And so, yes, there was an option I could dial into this meeting from my mobile phone, but I thought that I'd try something out a little different. I know that Microsoft Teams has the ability to uh, pair up a companion device. This means that I can attend the meeting from two different devices, from traditionally a desktop or laptop, and from your mobile phone. And the, the goal here is that you can take it around and you can um, maybe walk away from your desktop and um, show something on the camera. Maybe you could also present uh, content like apps from your phone uh, into the, the online meeting. But my goal here was I needed something to replace this headset, right? And I didn't bring it. And what better thing to do than use a mobile phone? Uh, and it's literally like a, head, a handset, uh, which some of us cry out for when we get shifted to technology such as Skype for Business and Microsoft Teams to make our traditional phone calls. I had an iPad with me and my plan was to, to view the presentation and to participate from there and to use my handset for audio. So what I want to do is take you through it very quickly to show you how it got set up and what that experience was like. All right, we have the, the iPad uh, that I uh, was signed into on, uh, on the day of the conference and I needed to join a meeting. And in this demo, I'm gonna be in the role of Isaiah Langer and the meeting organizer is Megan Bowen. Now we'll join from the iPad and uh, you can see I've got all the, the preview there. So it's picking up my uh, video from over in this uh, camera. We'll turn the mic off and just join. And Megan's already in the meeting, of course, so I don't have Megan and I don't have three other people to show you the, the nice uh, additional core tiles. But um, what we will do is just go through this next scenario and explain um, the challenge was that I needed to have something that I could use for, uh, for audio and it wasn't going to be enough to just talk to my iPad. I figured, well, why not try and use the companion device um, capability with the iPhone. Um, now, I'm joined from the meeting in one place um, as I uh, swipe up and we'll get into the meeting itself. So just like that, um, I can see that I'm already joined in a meeting. Um, and it's given me the option to join without even having to go to the meeting tab. I can join the same and it says to share content from this device. Now the content that I am going to share is uh, my audio. Uh, I, at this point I could uh, go ahead and, and share my screen and, and show content from the mobile into, into the meeting. But what I did do was I just unmuted. Okay. okay. And um, and uh, being not in speaker mode, then I was um, able to to tap that and put up on on, on my ear. So I just uh, brought that to my ear, of course, and then I could use that to to speak. Now the, this was an advantage. It meant that I was able to talk, listen, um, participate in the meeting, see the shared content that was on screen. But when it came to having to unmute and mute, like the 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 um, custom of being in a in a meeting it's good manners to to mute your microphone so you don't have all the audio in the background this was even more important when it came to um, uh, with the the conference background uh, that I didn't want uh, that to be a distraction to people in the meeting so I, I had to end up you know every time I wanted to to um, to speak I had to tap on the phone unmute you know, because I was muted, 
unmute and then continue to talk. And then when I was stopping talking and I'd finished answering that question, I would tap the mute button and stick that back up against my ear. Um, now there was about a sort of 10 second delay at best as I did that. Okay, oh, someone's asking me a question. Uh, let's uh, go back in here, um, untap, right, and away we go. But for the most part, the, the solution did work. It meant that I had some audio. I didn't have to try and find an even quieter corner and I could uh, participate in the meeting. And uh, it gave me other options as well. Right, so check out companion device as part of the Microsoft Teams experience when you're in a meeting. It can be useful for the scenario that I showed you, but I found it really useful for running uh, Microsoft uh, apps training on, on your phone and you can use Microsoft Teams to present anything on the phone and desktop. Um, the, there's a couple of other scenarios too where I might take this phone, come away from my desk, maybe I'm on site somewhere and I need to go and show someone something so I can turn on the video and I can share it and um, you know use it that way to, to be able to bring something else into the meeting with a more mobile camera than uh, potentially a, a laptop. So if you like those tips and you're, and you're um, finding this kind of content useful, then uh, like and subscribe on my channel. Uh, that's Daryl as a Service. And uh, follow me also on Daryl as a Service on Twitter. Catch you again soon.